Okay, so when people say that AI is taking over, I didn't expect this. That's my job. Let me out of here. As a video editor, I constantly hear that AI is going to replace us and leave no room for us editors to thrive on this planet. But when I go and check out some of these new websites that claim they can edit the full video for you, they're super generic and they have no room for creativity. So today I'm showing you that AI is not replacing us, but instead acting as a personal assistant that will still give you full creative control. Now I'm focusing on Adobe apps in this video, but of course, I'm showing some external apps that can complement them. All right, if you're ready, let's jump on in. Color correcting and color grading are entirely different skill sets from being a video editor. So it's okay if you kind of suck at it in the beginning because there are now AI tools built in Premiere Pro that can help you out. Let's start simple. If you go into Premiere Pro, you can go to the color tab and in Lumetri Color, you'll see this auto button. When you press this, Adobe will use Adobe Sensei technology to color correct your footage as good as possible. You can move the intensity slider to the left to reduce the correction or to the right to increase the correction, or you can adjust each parameter yourself in case you don't like the result. Just by pressing this one button, I'm already getting a much better corrected image. And from here, I can then go on to stylize with some more color grading. Now, there are plenty of LUTs out on the web that you can use to color grade your videos with. But what if you can't find the one that you're looking for? Well, that's not an issue because our buddy, artificial intelligence, can help you out. Let me give you a quick look at Runway's text to color grade. Here you can just type out whatever color grade style you want and Runway will generate a LUT for you to use in whatever video editing software that you're using. Food delivery break. If you're editing a talking head video or an interview, text-based editing will change your life. As you know, the built-in speech-to-text in Premiere Pro, which was released in the actual app, not in the beta, back in May of this year, and it's only getting better. Basically, text-based editing allows you to edit your video using the text from the dialogue in the video. Now, I've already made a video about this when it came out in the beta, so in this video, I'm just gonna share with you the juicy parts. In Premiere Pro, you can now automatically transcribe videos that are in the project panel. Using the text panel, you can see everything said in the video being transcribed into text and things that you can use now to spice up your edits. Now, Adobe AI does a good job at transcribing it, but there's still gonna be a little bit of hiccups here and there that you need to correct. What you can do is go in and correct the text yourself, just like editing a Word document. Now you can build your rough cut by just selecting parts of the text you want and inserting it into the timeline. But I much prefer to have the video in the timeline itself and then use the text panel to delete the parts I don't want and the changes will be reflected in the timeline. Adobe AI also helps you find pauses so you can just select the little dot, dot, dot ellipsis icon which represents the pauses and then you can delete them. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on how this works, you can click right up here to watch that video, but not until you finish this video. Now, talking about removing silences, there's a new Premiere Pro plugin that can remove those silences for you automatically to make your dialogue tighter, and it's called AutoCut. In the plugin, you can manually tweak your silence length, noise level, and more. There's also the AutoCut AI option where the AI just gets rid of all the silences for you. So what I recommend doing is using AutoCut to automatically remove those silences for you and then you can use the text-based editing to help you build your rough cut faster. Now, bear in mind, AutoCut is not free. You can, of course, get the subscription option, or better yet, they have a lifetime option that you can keep forever. If you're watching this video, the chances are you like to learn. So let me introduce you to our sponsor, Skillshare. So you probably know that Skillshare has a ton of classes on photography, video editing, and illustration. But did you know that it also has career-focused classes and things that can help you be better at managing your business, for example? So this year specifically, I've had goals to get better at managing my team and time, and also new strategies for marketing the products that we're putting out here at Premier Gal. And I'm also interested in how AI can help me manage some of these things. So I recently finished the course, Make AI Work For You, a course by Smitesh Mystery. And it helps me learn how to use AI to get past my creative blocks. You know, being a content creator is difficult sometimes. You constantly have to think about new ideas, innovative ideas that you haven't done before. And this isn't always easy, especially if you have a lot of projects going on 
and you don't have enough time. And this course helped me use AI in ways that I haven't thought of before. Some other courses that have been helping me achieve my 2023 goals are Using YouTube to Humanize Your Brand by Aaron Winters, a great course if you can't figure out how to connect fully with your audience. And of course, Productivity for Creators by the one and only Ali Abdal. And I think this is probably a must watch for all creators. Whether you're learning something you're interested in or looking to discover new skills, Skillshare has got you covered. So you can get one month free to watch as many classes as you want with the trial link in my description box below. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now let's show you some more AI tools. Recently I've talked a lot about runway AI tools, especially the background remover tool that can remove the background from your subjects if you wanna place text behind you or do some cool effects, it's great. But what if you don't want to add another subscription to your list of 50 that you're already paying for? That's where the Rotobrush 2.0 comes in. For this one, we're going to head over to After Effects. If you press this button on top, you will get the Rotobrush tool. And it kind of acts like the quick selection tool in Photoshop. You can select the area of the subject you want to be masked. If the mask is in the spot you don't want, just press Alt or Option on a Mac to remove those areas. Once you get a good mask, you could hit play and Adobe will use its AI magic to follow the movement of your subject to get a perfect mask. Well, we all know that not everything is perfect and at any frame, it can go wild. So you can go to that frame and fix the mask with the Rotobrush tool. You can hit play again to let AE track the rest of the footage with the fix that you just did. Rotobrush also has many other options that you can play around with from effect controls. There's motion blur, so if the subject moves a lot, the mask will look more natural. There's also refine edge tool, which helps you get a better mask on more complex edges, such as hair or trees. Here's the cool part. Once you get a good mask, you can now use Photoshop's new generative fill to modify your background or generate a completely new one. Here in Photoshop, I just brought in a still image from the video and let's say I want the subject to disappear. I could select the subject, click generative AI and tell Photoshop to remove my subject. So using this, I now have my subject and my background separate to do whatever I want with. The Remix tool came to audition many, many years ago and it allowed us to change the duration of any song to any length. It was amazing. And then it came to Premiere Pro and we were all like, whoa, this is awesome. But you don't have to just use it inside of the Essential Sound Panel. You can also use the shortcut. Essentially, the Remix tool allows you to shorten your music track or expand it. And with the power of AI, the song will be adjusted to the length that you want. Let's test it out. Here I have a two minute song. Let's say I want it to be shorter to use in my intro. With the remix tool selected, I can drag the song to be the length of my edit. You can see here the lines. They represent where the song was cut and then stitched together with AI. And if I play this here, you could hardly tell. For another example, let's say I want this song to loop for a long time to fit the length of the video. I could cut out the part of the song I want to loop it could even include many sections of the song and plop it into the timeline. Now using the remix tool, I can drag out the song to be as long as I want and it will create a seamless loop for you. And the best part is just how fast this is. You can try out different remixes and you don't have to wait. It's super fast. Since we're talking about music, I wanna give a shout out to two other AI sites that I recently started using for music. The first one is SoundRaw. Now I made an in-depth video on how this works, so you can click up here to go check it out. But basically SoundRaw uses AI to generate music for you as much as you want, just by selecting the genre, moods, and other filter options. You can even go in and customize the arrangement of the song itself. You can even change the instrument's intensity to create the perfect track for your video. But if you don't like the idea of robots and AI making your music, I completely get it. This is where I recommend Upbeat Io. All of the music here was created by living, breathing humans like you. But not me. On Upbeat, AI is used instead to generate a playlist based on the likeness of your search. You can really go deep into your descriptions of what you're looking for.
Now this site is super lit, but you also have to remember the limitations here. The playlist will only gather songs on the site itself. So if you're trying to find a soundtrack for an epic sci-fi adventure of monkeys jamming out to Italian music, you know, prepare to be disappointed. Don't forget, AI is not going to replace you. Editing still has so much room for creativity and using AI as your personal assistant is just going to make your outrageous vision become a reality even easier. If you like this video, you should definitely check out this one right over here. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time, bye. Acting as a personal assistant that can help the little function plot twist. Gal is AI.